All right, here's how you do today's work. Basically, today we're just using the properties that were submitted to figure out what the best final place would be to build our um, neighborhood. And so what we need to do is we're going to just compare and look for costs. That's the, the analysis is going to be actually two things, the, the cost of it, total cost, and then how close or far it is away from DFW, Dallas or Fort Worth. And then we're going to just essentially figure out what, what do we think is the best option. So how we do this, each one of these boxes has, this is all the information for property one, property two, three, four, five, six. These are the ones that were submitted. So we're going to figure out what the total acres was or is for this property. So we add these up and that'll be total acres. For property two, we'll add these up and that'll be total acres. The total cost, we add up these values for property one, put that there. And the total cost for property two, we add these up, put that there. And then the cost per acre, you got to figure out what is the cost per acre based on all of these sums. So it'll be the total cost per acre. Then you have to figure out how far it is from Dallas, how far it is from Fort Worth. That's kind of the trickier part, but the way you do that is just click on any of these properties. Let's just click on this one right here. Since these are all close together because we're combining these properties, and this is in Wise County, and this gives me a bunch of different things, and this map here pretty much shows it's kind of just like looks like barren land, I guess. And what I'm looking for is an address of some sort. So that would probably be in property details. And I don't see an address, but I do see this mailing address, but that's in Georgia, so we don't want to use that. But what I need to use then is this, the legal description, where it says 8367 WM Hersey. That's actually kind of like an address for a place that people don't live. It's more of like a location off of some road, probably called WM Hersey. That's my assumption. So I'm just going to copy this. And I'm literally just going to go and, and Google this information. So we'll just put that into my Google search. And then I've got a couple different hits. This third one here, is, I don't need. Clearly, it's not going to be helpful because it's Massachusetts.gov. That's something else. But these up here, I'm going to just click on the first one. And da -da -da -da. so I'm looking for, I want to find directions to Dallas and directions to Fort Worth. That'll tell me how far it is. And there we go, directions. So I'll click on directions. And sometimes this might bring up a Google map. This is bringing up a different type of map, but that's still fine because this is showing me where this place is. And then I'm just going to click right here, add new location to route. Let's just write Dallas, Texas. Click it and then confirm destination. And it's going to tell me how far away it is. So there you go. And it's 85 miles. So I'm going to put 85 right here for Dallas. And then I'll do the same thing for Fort Worth. And then I'm going to use the total cost and the distances. That's going to basically be our baseline to figure out which one is the best. And the closest one may not be the best. The farthest one may not be the best. The cheapest one may not be the best. It's going to be a combination of those different things to figure out which one is the best property. And you're going to list that on the slide that you get as well. Your property is in order. That is all that you have to do for today. But it is important, though, that you get these filled out correctly because I'm going to check these values and that you only put numbers in for these. Don't put, you can put a dollar sign, but don't put per acre here. Just put a number um, and distance. Don't put miles or anything. Just put a number. And that way I can analyze that really, really quick. So that is all you do. Good luck.